Hi guys, so today I'll be sharing just a simple idea for the new Spellbinders November 2023 Glimmer of the Month and the 3D Embossing Folder of the Month. Why not? Uh, just a little background, quick little topper with some sentiments. I think it's going to be really lovely. So uh, these items were sent free of charge for my review and of course all opinions are my own. And any links in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you're purchased item sales links. If you are seeing this video, uh, you are able to sign up now if you're a new member. Uh, if you were a previous member, you know, from last month, you can uh, you could have already made some changes and things like that but for now if you are new you can sign up you get 10% off the site and of course you get the clubs that you're signed up for you can cancel them at any time um, you can add it back um, it's there's no commitment you know so even uh, next week if you decide okay you know I just wanted this one but I'm not gonna stay on for next month just cancel it and no big deal but if you do want to get back on next month because you like you know you saw it and you're like oh I wish you know I, I would have just stayed on just add it again on the fifth or sixth whenever they open the uh, window for that so um, I have the Glimmer of the Month again, All You Need Sentiments, and I went through all these things in the Perfect Package unboxing, so I'll link that video. Today we're just going to get started playing with uh, these plates, and just, you know, a simple background with the 3D embossing folder, the crisscross motif, which is really lovely, and I think we're just going to make it simple and easy. I'm going to go ahead and turn my Glimmer on and get that going, and I'll be right back with some card bases. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and get some card bases from the Card Kit of the Month. Um, let's make two cards since this will be very quick, I think. So I'm going to grab two of the card bases. We can do one maybe white on white. Oh, you know what? We should use this on a different color. Okay, cool. In my mind, I'm thinking white paper. You know, you do your glimmer, but you can glimmer on literally any paper. You want to use smooth paper. Spellbinders has glimmer paper that's specifically for glimmering. It's just very smooth uh, cardstock. But generally, I get good results with pretty much any cardstock, and even better with pearlescent cardstock. It's so funny because I was like, oh, we'll see how this goes, you know, kind of afraid of that, but it's so nice. So let's do one this way. This is not white core paper, so if I use, you know, the um, embossing folder, it's just going to be what it is. If you have white core paper and you sand over it, you're going to have like relief kind of showing through. Uh, let's do the blue. I don't know why not. And should we glimmer on this color? Why not? I was just going to do white paper. So maybe I'll do one set on white paper, one set on this kind of um, deep colored cardstock there. So yeah, let me get the glimmer going. I should have already turned that on. <laughs> Started making choices here. What I'm going to do in the meantime, though, I'll turn the glimmer on. And um, I always have it plugged in right here next to me, but I have to bring it around town. Hold on. Bring her over here. What is back here? Something's holding it back. <laughs> All right, so I have her here. And it's always plugged in, it's always on. Just turn it on there, your lights will turn on, and then when it's ready, the platform will show that it's platform ready. What I'll do in the meantime is simply just cut these down. Um, I want them to be matte layered a little bit, so four and eighth by five and three eighths, I think, and then um, on both of these guys. And I'll be right back. Turn those down really nicely and easily on that board and so I'm just going to run both these guys through. I am going to use the Spellbinders Universal Plate System because I have that but whatever system you have just um, run these guys through. I'm just kind of eyeballing to see what's center. That looks pretty good. Um, usually a little thinner uh, plate sandwich than you normally would do would help. So I'm just going to take the A plate with the universal plate system and the adapter and I'll run this one through and I'll run this one through and I'll be right back. Okay, you know I have to show this to you. Love it. I already know it's going to be amazing. So here we go. It's really in there. But check that out. Beautiful. Um, sometimes like right now I cut it first and then you know I roll it through. If you have to straighten it up because I know Again, the 3D embossing folder has that cool, like, carved butter look. It might have bowed out a little bit, so you can just take it back to your trim or your guillotine and just trim that piece down. Um, you know. All right, I'll do the other one, and hopefully our glimmer system's just about ready. So I will be right back. And that is that. So I'll put this over here. This guy, gorgeous. And I'm just going to glue those down in the meantime onto my card bases, okay? Oh, yeah, let me show you this. So that's the emboss side, of course. It looks gorgeous. And that's the deboss side, which also looks really nice. Actually, it looks like gift wrap. Something about it looks very shiny now. See that? <gasps> it's so pretty. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to glue them down. Well, you know what? Nah, I don't know. Yeah, we'll do it this way. 
Well, I'll just scroll it down traditionally, but uh, the other side looks really awesome too. I'll be right back. Glued, <laughs> glued my card toppers down. So we have those guys ready to go, and I'm just gonna place this up here. And for now, I'm just gonna place like um, something like this, something heavy on top of them together, so that will stay down. Platform has been ready for a few minutes here. I don't know if I'm gonna do both of them at the same time, both in the same color. I think I still need some white ones. So what I'll do is we'll do this one. I'm not sure why I gave myself such little space there for this, but that's okay. So what I'm going to do is just put this centered, and then the other one. Again, it has everyday sentiments. It has Christmas. It has different holidays, celebration type things. I'm going to use this guy. This is the one from this month, the matte gold. Uh, in my experience, the little matte ones have been, sometimes they're a little harder to work with. The glimmer takes all the guesswork out of any of this stuff, so um, we'll just pop it on there. But a nice fresh roll of matte foil, I feel like, does the best. Um, it's a little, like, crunchier. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> I guess because it's matte, so it's a little more... Oh, it has like a rough background to it. Okay, hold on. Should have brought out my cutter today, but I did not. So we're just gonna eyeball that. Again, I'm cutting down my paper, my paper, my foil, pretty much right around the shape. Because if you have extra, you're just gonna overfoil, or you know, it just leads to having those kinds of issues. So I'm just going to, this thing has been ready. For right now, I'm just gonna plop this down like this. Now, if I wanted to, I could have done a different method, but I like to set up my sandwich or my little, you know, setup here. And then I put it on my um, glimmer, and that's just what I like to do. You can do whatever you like. Um, some people like to build it up here. If you're going to build it up here, you need your plate first with the words or your image facing up. You need your foil with the silver side facing up, and then your paper facing down the side of the paper that you want to be glimmered. I do have some paper here. I don't know. This is just some basic paper. Um, it might, you know, I think it's from the card kit from the other day. And I might lose a bit here. Actually, maybe I shouldn't use this scrap. See? You always gotta think about it, because then you might end up messing it up. Get yourself a full-size piece of paper. <laughs> so I'll be right back. I'm just gonna grab... Actually, I'll just grab it here from the kit also. So just white paper from the kit. And, you know, give yourself a little room. I don't know why on the other one I was so close there. Okay, I'm going to cut down some foil, do the same thing like this, I'll be right back. So, plate side down. And usually you run one plate through at a time, but if I have space for it, I don't mind, like, bringing this guy in. I usually just kind of keep them separate. So, right in the middle. I like to put my plates on top right now. Some people like to do it after it heats up, whatever it is you want. So, I, I use both of them at the same time. And I'll just lay them on there, press timer, and once the timer goes solid, I'll run it through. So here we go. Just move that very carefully, make sure my plates are nice and straight on there. And sometimes, I'm not gonna lie, I give it a few extra seconds, like once the timer is uh, all set and green, I just kind of wait five or ten more seconds. Let's see what we have. This is going to be very hot, guys. If you want to use your tool for that, that's great. I'll take this guy off, too. And we can see what we have here. I mean, that is gorgeous and perfect. I will show you that this got a little bit of extra foil. And all you do, and generally I do it when it's still warm. You can clean it up afterwards, but um, you can definitely do that when it's still warm. Let me put these things out of the way here. Just get this guy out of the way. Just take an eraser. And this is just a little eraser. I got a dice, so it doesn't matter. And just scrub over it. You can scrub over all the whole thing if you want just to clean it up. But really, that was the one that had a little extra, and it just comes away. Super easy to do, especially when it's still warm. And let's look at these guys. Oh my gosh. Love it. And I mean, you can definitely use this if you want, like, to get this onto another surface. You know, uh, Spellbinders has solid plates that you can then put on here just the same way. You can put your plate, you put your foil, you put your paper, and then this whole gold area will be on that paper. So what's going to be showing through here is the paper. And it'll be gold, and then you can cut it, you know, maybe with a paper trimmer or fussy cut it, however you would like. But those came out so perfectly, you can definitely do that. Look at that. I mean, they're clean. I need to make a video on that, guys. But there are plenty of videos out there.
out there, people showing you that. So there we go. Um, I think it looks pretty good. And, uh, yeah, nice and clean. Let's try to see if that bottom one looked like it needed some adjustment. So then we take our die. This month's, I'm telling you, the set is super simple, but it's so important. Everything that's in there is really great. You're going to get lots of use out of it. And I'm eyeballing literally all of them at once just to see left and right. That looks about right. Up and down, you know. How's that looking? Definitely tape it on both sides at least. Two points of contact of tape because you do not want this to shift. I'm not super picky. I'll still use them if they're a little bit off, but... Um, <laughs> You know, definitely tape those down. I tape them towards the outside. I don't want my foil getting picked up after we did that foiling. So I will run this through and I'll run this one through and we'll have tons of sentiments. I'll be right back. Of course, it's always fun to open this up and just have all these pieces that look awesome. Thanks so much. Congratulations. Thanks a million. Happy birthday. A gift for you. I mean, there's just so much. So I'll do the same with this one. All right, guys. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I mean, Look at that. I love it. Okay, so um, we have lots of fun things here. I mean, we're going to take this one, like, hello, friend. You know, something basically that's so happy for you, or whatever it might be. Maybe there's some congratulations in order, or, you know, congratulations, so happy for you. Holiday greetings, that's a little bit different. A gift for you, Christmas wishes, thanks a million. You know, I mean, that looks lovely too. How about something like that? And then maybe on this one, um, I can bring some of the ephemera here. Ooh, that's a nice big focal point. Doesn't make it go like this. I don't know. Um, thanks a million. I mean, something as easy as that. That's cute. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> I'm easy. So what I'm going to do is we have our dimensionals in here. I'm just going to go down on this one. I mean, that was super easy. A little piece of ephemera. Alright. I just put it kind of like that. Just eyeballing left and right. And then thanks a million. I mean, you might want to put it down here. Whatever is it you like for your compositions. I'm mostly a girl that likes them down here. And now that I have it there, I'm like, you know, I like that better. But you can definitely put it wherever you like. So I'll hold that down. I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back of these guys. And as I mentioned before, you know, I use the whole dimensional. So, like, even these extra pieces on the outside, you can definitely cut them down and use them. Just cut it, you know, all this, the whole thing. Use it all up. But I'll be right back with dimensionals and carriers removed on both of these, and I'll be right back. So we have that. I stick it down a little better there. Thanks a million. Something like that. Looks really nice. Loving that background. A little ephemera, and then the thanks a million. Really cute. Maybe you want to add some of your sequins or some kind of dots, something like that. And on this one, we're just going to have hello friend. Maybe just like an eighth of an inch from the end there. We want to pay attention to how straight we have it since that's all we're focusing on, right? Hello, friend. And then, so happy for you. Just a little bit further in from that. About the same distance from the edge of the card. And it's a little bit more this way. And making sure it's straight. And there we go. Really, really awesome set. I love the sentiments. The clear stamp of the month is so cute. I love the sentiments on that. The dies that go with it are amazing. I, you know, I'm a fan of sentiments. So I'll just put this in my little uh, box and I'll just dip in there. I know we have, you know, the stitching die of the month and some other months, uh, some other months, <laughs> some other items that we're going to be playing with. So I have sentiments ready to go for those. Really, really great. So thanks so much for watching guys. Thank you. Spellbinders for sending these items for review. Uh, easy, quick easy cards here uh thanks for watching i'll have images coming up i'll have the links in the description box and i will see you all at the next one bye now